The Flash follows Barry Allen as he tries to overcome the pain of his mother's death by going back in time to save her. In the process, in his effort to return to the present, he gets knocked into a past where he exists. After Barry meets up with his younger self, he realizes that things are slightly different in this past. For example, Marty McFly isn't played by Michael J. Fox. As he's starting to sense that things are different, General Zod appears, and he decides that he was going to protect the Earth from Zod in this timeline by finding and forming the Justice League. Only, there's a slight problem. There's no Wonder Woman or Aquaman, and Victor Stone isn't Cyborg. Rather, he's a star quarterback. To his horror, he had created a world without parahumans. Thankfully, there's still a Batman in this universe, so he goes and finds Bruce Wayne to try to figure out what happened. During this conversation, Bruce explains that when you go back in time, you don't create an alternate reality that runs parallel with yours up until it branches off at the point where you time travel to. Rather, you create a different reality that intersects at a fixed point in time. This means that when you go back in time, you don't just change the future, you change the past as well. Now, because scientists haven't figured out how to go back in time travel, our entire past is a fixed point. It's unable to change. And so, it's unable to change in reality, but we can change it in our minds. Oftentimes, when we have a traumatic situation happen, we look back on those traumatic events and think, what if I had done this differently? What if I had done that differently? If you'd been in a car crash and one of your passengers dies, you're going to have this event replay over and over in your mind, wishing you had done something differently. If only you'd gone a little bit faster. If you only had gone a little bit slower. If your passenger had gone in a different seat. Literally anything different, then that person would still be alive. But the thing is, you didn't do that. However, you keep running it over in your mind until you convince yourself that it's your fault, that you could have done something differently, that you should have done something differently, that you had the knowledge and the capability to change the outcome. But the thing is, you couldn't have. This constant replay, this change of memories, this changing of the past, so to speak, causes us to feel horrible guilt. That is very hard to overcome, and we're unable to heal and move forward. Lesson 2, our pain makes us who we are. Now when Flat, the Flash discovers that he has the ability to go back in time, he doesn't immediately go and save his mom. First, he goes and talks to Bruce Wayne to get his advice. Now Bruce tells him not to do it. One, because he understands that there could be catastrophic changes. Kind of the, the wing of a butterfly in China effect, so to speak. The, even the smallest action in the past can drastically change the future. And two, our pain can shape us and help us become who we are. But we have to be careful because we shouldn't let it be our identity. Bruce from Reality 2, so to speak, and his Bruce both have a similar conversation with Barry and explain that he made the mistake of letting his pain identify who he is. And because of that, he ended up alone. It's not just our pains that shape us. It's all of our experiences. It's our joys and our successes and our failures and our pains. All of these shape us and can help us become who we are. If we only hold on to the pain, then we forget about the good experiences. We forget about our successes and the connections and the relationships that we have. And we become closed off and we are unable to connect with others. Because we'll be so scared that we'll become hurt again. And that our pain will be added to, that we won't be able to overcome it. And we see this with who I'll, the younger Barry Allen, who I'll call Barry too, at the end of the movie. Because after they talk with Batman, he, they convince him to help them find uh, Superman. In the process, they end up actually finding Supergirl and saving her, where they team up to go and fight Zod together to stop him from destroying the Earth. But it doesn't work out that way. Instead, they fail. So Barry, too, decides that if Barry 1 could go back in time and save hit their mom, then he could go back in time with the older Barry, and they could save Batman and Superman in that fight. And so they go back in time, and they fail. Now, Barry had been trying to stop this from happening because Bruce explained that the more you go back in time and mess with it, the more you break space and time. So he, so Barry 1 follows Barry 2 and watches him as he tries over and over to save Batman and Supergirl and fail time and time again. And he won't give, give up because he doesn't know how to escape the pain. He doesn't know how to live with the pain of loss because he had lived with his mom all his life because Barry 1 had saved her. At this point... Barry One realizes that the death of Supergirl and Batman is a fixed point. By going back in time to save his mom, he had doomed that world to die. There was no way to save it. But Barry Two refused to accept it and kept trying over and over again, even as reality and space and time was falling apart around them. Which brings us into Lesson 3. We lose our future by living in the past. By going back in time to save his mom, Barry One had doomed that world to die. 
This is something that Batman at the beginning of the movie had been trying to teach him. Fortunately, he does learn this lesson though, and he co travels back in time to stop himself from saving his mother. During this, during this heartwarming scene, he's able to say one final goodbye to his mother, and by facing his pain, he's able to overcome it. If we constantly look into the past, wishing that it could have been different, wishing that you had done something differently, by holding on to that pain, we're unable to heal from it and learn and grow and have new experiences. It becomes who we are and our, we lose our ability to have a future. We lose our ability to heal, to have, move forward, to have happiness, to build relationships, to learn from our experiences and become stuck in an endless cycle of pain and sorrow and guilt. Accepting that the past happened, learning from the experience and moving on can help shape us and become a better person and help us live a more happy and fulfilling life. If you enjoyed this video, put in the comments another video that I should do and have a great day.